Hi everyone, so today I will show you how to create this effect, this metaball effect easily with Typhlo. As you can see, the products merge and separate, which create a very interesting effect. Let's go. First, create a Typhlo setup. Go to El Pro, Typhlo, and create a tile icon. Position zero 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 and sphere and increase the size go back to type flow open editor and create a boost start and zero and one hundred that's it I think now add a position icon and pick the icon. Now all the particles are linked to the icon. Go to geometry. Okay. And add shape. Go to 3D. 3D. Sphere. And increase the scale maybe. Okay. Okay, now we want the particles to be attracted to the center. For that, we will create a sphere. So, sphere. Okay, I the sphere. And create a fine target. And pick the sphere. Okay, the particles are tracked, but uh, they do not orbit. To solve this, we are going to create a force. Add force. And select turbulence. Strength 1, I think. And see. Okay, good. Yeah. But as you can see, um, the speed is uh, is really too high. So to fix the speed, go to Type Flow, Retimer, Enable Simulation Retimer by Speed, and decrease the speed to be forty. Okay. Yeah, it's better. I will just increase frame. Okay. Now we don't need type flow. Now go to um, type flow and create a time measure and pick the original type flow setup. Now we have our particles. But resolution is really too low. So go down, go to block mesh and increase the absolute. Maybe 18. Okay, good. We can now decrease the resolutions, the voxel size. Okay. And play with the voxel filtering. Choose when you want. When you want you can try by yourself, but uh, I use Gaussian and increase the filter, maybe three. Okay, good. I think it's good. Remember, once you're satisfied with your simulation, to create a preview of your final render. To do this, go to create preview, type preview. Select the frame range you want, maybe uh, 18, 1, like this maybe, and um, increase resolution, <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, and make a preview.
Okay, good. I think the result is really close to the original. We have nice fusion and nice separation in the vertex. All you have to do now is play with the setting, play with um, the force, the fine target, and uh, of course, adjust your light, camera, and texture, and start render. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. As always, remember to comment and like if you liked it. And see you soon for new project tutorials. Bye.